Imagine that every day, more than 200,000 people travel across the Hudson River to New York, relying on tunnels that are more than 100 years old and deteriorating over time. The entire Northeast could be paralyzed overnight if they fail. But now, Amtrak has come up with a new $16 billion solution, billed as the last lifeline for America's busiest rail line. And it promises to end this painful problem forever. But is the project really worth the huge sum? Or is it just a risky gamble? Join on the trains as we explore this ambitious journey, where technology, vision, and perseverance combine to write a new chapter for America. To understand why this tunnel matters so much, let's take a closer look at the project itself and the critical role it plays in keeping the Northeast moving. The importance of Hudson River Tunnel. The main goal is to build a new 2.4 mile long twin tunnel under the Hudson River, connecting New Jersey with Manhattan, while also repairing the old North River Tunnel, which is more than 110 years old. The old tunnel has been badly degraded, especially after Superstorm Sandy in 2012, when salt water eroded inside. The bottom line is, the entire Northeastern Railway line, which connects Boston, New York, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C., is almost entirely dependent on these two old tunnels. This is the busiest line in the United States, with more than 800,000 passengers a day, and 240,000 people cross the Hudson River alone. But the old tunnel only runs about 24 trains per hour and is prone to breakdowns, leaks, corrosion, causing two-thirds of the trips to be delayed. If the tunnel is forced to close without a new tunnel, capacity will be reduced by up to 75%, causing losses of about $100 million per day and greatly affecting the jobs, supply chains, and lives of millions of people all of which creates a disadvantage for the entire region. So Project $16 billion is launched. So what will be upgraded? What will the new bridge be like? Before we go to the next part, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow the modern trains of the world. The new tunnel project. The project focuses on building a pair of 2.4 mile, about 3.9 kilometers, twin tunnels, each 28 feet, about 8.5 meters in diameter connecting North Bergen, New Jersey, to Manhattan, New York. The top of the tunnel will be 25 to 50 feet below the Hudson River, ensuring safety from flooding and high water pressure. The new tunnel is designed to use modern TBMs combined with floodgates, advanced ventilation and drainage systems, and many other technologies to ensure sustainable operation for decades. In addition to the main tunnel, the project will expand the infrastructure system connecting 9 miles, 14.5 kilometers, of new track, build overpasses, viaducts, retaining walls, and install a concrete shell at Hudson Yards in Manhattan, which will directly connect the tunnel to Penn Station, New York's most important transportation hub. When the new tunnel is completed in a decade, the two existing tunnels will undergo extensive renovations, including replacing the track system, repairing and reinforcing the concrete structure, installing floodgates and waterproofing, which will extend the life of the old tunnels by decades while maintaining their ability to serve millions of passengers. Technically, the project is divided into 10 separate packages, including digging a 7,250 foot, about 2.2 kilometers, long under-river tunnel, stabilizing the ground in the riverbed area of 100 feet, 30 meters, wide with concrete columns and temporary dikes, construction of a 700-foot tunnel in Manhattan, and surface and access works in New Jersey, including tunneling through Bergen Hills slash Hudson Palisades and connecting to the existing NEC line. In August 2025, GDC announced that two massive tunnel boring machines for the New Jersey section are nearly complete. The Hudson Yards Concrete Shell Section 3 project is the final section that will allow the new tunnel to connect to Penn Station. HYCC3 will extend the existing concrete shell diagonally from 11th Avenue to 30th Street, measuring approximately 500 feet long, 60 feet wide, and 60 feet high. The 3.5 to 10 foot thick reinforced concrete structure is designed to withstand the loads of the structures above, while a waterproof membrane covers the entire perimeter. Construction of the concrete shell under Hudson Yards began in 2012, with the 800-foot-long Section 1 between 10th and 11th Avenues starting in August 2013, and the 110-foot-long Section 2 under the 11th Avenue viaduct 
completed in 2018. HYCC3 will complete the final connection for the new tunnel to be operational. Once the new tunnel is completed, the system will not only maintain operations while the old tunnel is repaired, but will also double capacity from 24 to 48 trips per hour. If Penn Station is upgraded, the new tunnel will have a modern flood control system, new electrical and signaling systems, more durable materials, allowing trains to run at a maximum speed of 90 miles per hour. It will also add more than nine miles of track to Penn Station, the busiest train station in the United States. Funding and Timeline The Hudson River Tunnel Project is a key part of the Gateway Program and is considered the largest rail project in the United States in the 21st century. At a cost of about $16 billion, the project is managed by the Gateway Development Commission, a partnership between Amtrak, NJ Transit, New York State, New Jersey State, and the federal government. More than half of the funding comes from the federal government, with the rest from state budgets and infrastructure bonds. This is also a typical project in the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act of 2021, showing the determination to upgrade America's core infrastructure. The project creates more than 95,000 jobs, reduces congestion on the road, cuts emissions, and increases resilience to climate change. In the long term, this is a turning point to ensure the connection of major cities, strengthen the economic strength of the U.S., and pave the way for the next projects in the Gateway Program. According to the plan, 2023 to 2024, to build the ground and tunnel entrance. 2025 to 2029, to dig the tunnel and install the system. 2030, to put the new tunnel into operation. Then, the old North River Tunnel will be completely renovated from 2029 to 2035. In fact, progress tracking at key locations shows no major delays, with the project still described as on track for completion by 2035. Construction on the river continues with a focus on ecosystem protection, including pumping grout into the mud to stabilize the riverbed without affecting the natural flow or the spawning season for sturgeon. In Manhattan, the Hudson Yards concrete shell is under construction, reaching more than 50% of its volume. While in New Jersey, work on Tunnel A Avenue is nearing completion, preparing for the installation of a tunnel boring machine and connection to existing rail lines. As of September 2025, the Hudson River Tunnel project is progressing well, marking important progress on both the riverbank and underwater. So, is this project really on track or are storms ahead? Challenges. First of all, the extremely high cost, about $16 billion, has many people worried that if there are technical problems, delays, or increased material prices, the budget could increase significantly. Tunneling under the Hudson River, where water pressure is high and geology is complex, along with drilling through limestone and clay hills in New Jersey, requires modern technology, advanced TBM drilling machines, and extremely careful supervision. A small mistake in tunnel drilling ground stabilization or water pressure control can slow down progress and increase costs. In addition, the construction also has a major impact on people's lives. Noise, vibration, and traffic congestion in densely populated areas such as North Bergen, Hoboken, or Manhattan affect surrounding residents and businesses. At the same time, environmental protection measures such as stream retention, riverbed stabilization, and sturgeon habitat protection complicate the construction schedule. Another challenge is the dependence on future ancillary projects, such as the expansion and modernization of Penn Station or upgrades to other NEC lines. If these projects are not implemented, the transportation efficiency and connectivity of the new tunnel may not be optimal immediately after completion. In addition, the long construction period of many years also creates pressure to maintain the quality of the project, stabilize the staff, and keep the progress according to the plan. In short, although the project promises to change the face of transportation and the economy of the Northeast, to be successful, engineers and managers must overcome many difficulties at the same time. So, is the Hudson River Tunnel up to the challenge of transforming travel for millions of passengers? That's all for today. See ya!